All right, guys. This is a Digibyte Com Talk. I'm your host, Script Skynet, and I'm here with Oscar Gladden TV. Oscar, how you doing? Hey, hey, doing pretty good. <laughs> cool, cool. So I hope you're comfortable, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty comfortable. All right, All right cause I got I well I, I try to connect on YouTube on your channel. Hey, hey, man, can I interview you or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were like, "Hey, um, you want to?" That's my cat right there. He's just kind of like Who's all that? in the way. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, you were just kind of like, "Hey, uh, I like your story. Um, think I can interview you." And that's basically how it happened, you know. Yeah. So the story, man. If you guys don't know who, or if you guys don't know who uh, Oscar or Gladden TV is. Uh, go and subscribe to Gladden TV on YouTube. It's really cool because I guess the the thumbnail that's up on this video right now uh, is the one that I saw first, and you were holding like Twizzlers or something. Yeah, and it said XRP and Digibyte are sleeping or something. They're uh, and, playing possum. Playing possum, yeah. And so I watched this thing. And you're like, I feel inspired, like right out of the way. Right out of the, I'm inspired. <laughs> and you talk, you know, did you know that you didn't mention Digibyte once in that video? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> How, however, I did allude to it. I did yes, you did allude to it. Yeah. Something, something in the in the lines of uh, all the digital cryptocurrencies that you can actually afford. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're like... Hey man, get as much as you can with little here, little there. And I'm a big believer that, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, if I can afford ice cream that's gonna give me a fat gut and you know, diabetes, I might as well put that in, you know, some crypto like Digibyte or something like that. So yeah, I mean it's just like what it was that kind of uh ex explanation that you were giving me when I was watching it. But I also noticed that, you know, you have a journey with these videos. I was watching uh, you got quite a few good ones. I, I even like your uh, presentation on some of the uh, on the videos that you had in, in in there. You know, like the uh, the graphics and all that. And yeah. but most of your videos are really just it's just you with your thoughts and just man. It just seems like you've been through a few things and maybe you're realizing man things could get better. And you're like. You're seeing something that, you know, not everybody is aware of. And I and I just want to let you know, you are still early, but we are in like the beginning of the third phase of like the adoption phase. OK, right. So you're still early, but um, without, you know, <laughs> re I think you've revealed your bags, but not the amount, which is good. You know, because if, if there's a video, I don't want to see it. But right, right, right. I really like the fact that the way you put your journey out there, it's real, you know, and <clears throat> I even like that one where uh, you were talking about those rich people, you know, and like those <laughs> <they're> losers, man. <laughs> they don't do nothing. It's not like they, you know, uh, you know, they, they don't even dance or maybe break dance and they feel they think there's something and all that. Right, right, um, right. What, what happens when you're going to get rich, bro? What happens? Are you going to be one of those guys? Or Tell me what What are you going to do with the, uh, you called it, if I become a thousandaire, then so be it. <laughs> <laughs> what What are you going to do with all that money, bro? So how my channel, I don't know if you want me to get into this first, but how sure. my channel started was... I wanted to do something that was a little different than what I saw a lot of the YouTubers that are in the crypto community would do. You have your technical analysis type of people, and then you have the people who already are crypto rich, and they're just kind of showing you their Lambos or I don't know. I don't know what it is now. Yeah, I don't, who knows what it is, right? Right. <laughs> and I say, you know what? There needs to be a... A underdog in this somebody to show life before let's just say the riches you know and 
I put it in my own little twist where I just kind of showed my lifestyle. Maybe I was at a football game sitting front row. Maybe I was at a basketball game sitting front row. Maybe I was at a boxing match front row or at Disneyland and so on and so forth, right? Yeah. And I just kind of put these videos together in a highlight. And at the very end of these videos, I would just basically talk cryptos. Whether if it was Digibyte or, you know, all the usual suspects, you know. And um, I kind of put music behind it as well. I wanted to basically grab people's attention because I understand people have a lot of, not everybody, of course, but a lot of people have a low att attention span, right? So I just kind of put hip hop music into it as well. At the Just to say, like, the first, if the video was five minutes for like the first minute and a half, maybe two minutes or so, I would just throw a hip hop song in there to match whatever scene I was trying to, you know, blow up, you know? And like I said, at the end of the video, I would talk cryptos for the majority of the time. So I just basically, I was doing the, I don't know if, you have kids. I don't have kids or anything like that. But, you know, most kids don't like vegetables, you know, even if it is in the, what is it? I was going to say the can, but the Gerber, you know, the Gerber food. So you might have to make paper plane noises with it. Oh, here comes the plane, that type of thing. So that's basically what I was doing with the videos. You know, if you see this guy and his girl at a club dancing and then right after you might see them at the the what do you call it the just a boxing fight but there's music pumping and, and the scenes go with the music and it's just like whoa what's going on here you know it's not your typical type of um crypt it's not your typical type of uh crypto enthusiast you know right so that's basically all i wanted to do you know and I would say I had no idea that we would get to this point as far as it being a pandemic and, you know, cryptos kind of taking over the world, you know, city by city, if not, yeah, just, you know, that type of thing. And, um, yeah, I'm just interviewed. I guess it, it helped because I'm being interviewed by you, you know, and I appreciate it, man. Yeah, in fact, that video you were like, uh, what'd you say? You're like, I hope these videos amount to something. I hope someone's listening. <laughs> and I, I was like, <laughs> yeah. oh man, I'm listening. I'll get, I'll get them on here. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, and about that, when I very started, when I first started my uh, channel, um, I wasn't after, and I'm still not. I wasn't after your YouTube revenues or how many views you get how many likes, that type of thing. This was strictly my rags to riches story, you know? That's it, you know? Because most of my videos, like I said, if I put big major mainstream artists' music inside of my YouTube videos, chances are a lot of people around the world aren't gonna get to see them. They won't be visible because copyrights and that type of thing, you know? So, that's the reason why my channel hasn't really accumulated a lot of subscribers or anything like that. But, um, yeah, I'm just not after the money. You know, the money. Did you, did you say you sing? Did I sing? You, you rap? No, nah, no, nah, I don't rap. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it one time when I, uh, I dislocated my uh, finger a couple years back. And I guess, I don't know if you want to call it rehab or whatever, but me trying to recover, I just kind of put some words together, that type of thing. Embarrassing things, but, you know, yeah, I tried, I tried my handle at it. <laughs> so, so, all right. So how did you get your name Gladden TV and uh, how did you get into crypto? How did it happen, man? Because was it a friend? Did you hear about something? What what popped your eye out on Krypton and you're like, had the aha moment? Okay. So my name, Gladden TV, comes from my last name. Okay. My first name's Oscar. 
My last name's Gladden. Okay. I just put the TV behind my last name. If you look up the word Gladden in the dictionary, you'll see it means to make glad. Okay. So it's just basically TV to make you happy or to make you glad or put a smile on your face. That's it. Although it's my life, maybe you can imitate it or not. I'm not sure. How I got into crypto, I would say it's a very interesting story. Or at least that's the way I like to paint it, right? A friend of mine basically came into my job at the time. I was working security. I was, being, I was a security guard or whatnot. I would talk to this guy often, you know. He would basically just give me information about various things, you know. Uh, not saying he was. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Saying, I yeah, I'm not saying. What's going on? Someone calling or what? I can't hear you. Still can't hear you. Trying to find out what happened here. Yeah, audio. Can you guys hear me? Hello, can you guys hear me? Is this on? Okay. Let me just, okay, here he goes. Are you there? Yeah, your audio is still off. Your audio. Say something. I can't hear anything. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, Gladden. Um, okay, guys. Well, <laughs> we were getting into the story. Uh, well, we'll just have to wait until he fixes uh, the audio. Let's see if this worked. Are you there? Yeah. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know who was calling me. Nobody calls me. <laughs> okay, just put it on silent. Silent, gotcha. All right. Um. So back to my story. A friend of mine... <clears throat> He basically came into my work at the time. Mm -hmm. um, security. I was working security. And I would talk to this guy on various occasions. You know, we'll just shoot the breeze about whatever. And one day in particular, he comes in. And he's like, hey, do you know anything about Bitcoin? I'm like, no, what's that? <laughs> and at the time, I just so happened to just kind of want to venture off into like, let's just say traditional stocks i was looking at at&t stocks and things of that nature and when he said bitcoin like the name didn't even register this is 2017 by the way okay give you a time frame so um he basically asked me if did i know anything about it i didn't know anything so he starts writing things down on this like sticky note. He's giving me Coinbase. He's writing down certain cryptocurrency. <laughs> he writes down Digibyte. At the time, like, what's that? I thought he said Digimon, right? Digimon. 
So he's writing Coinbase, Digi, Digibuy, XRP, Litecoin, and Ethereum. He's like, yeah, once you get off, man, research these things. Just look it up. You don't have to, but if you <laughs> don't, this is basically going to be the worst decision of your life oh, wow. to not look into. I'm like, what? Okay, whatever. Got home. Of course, you know, you put your bags down or whatever you have with you. Yeah. Maybe drank some juice or some water. Long story short, it hit me. Oh, man. Where's that sticky note? So I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. I find it. I search up what Coinbase is. I look at a couple YouTube videos. Um, I search up, um, how do you call it? Digibyte. I search up XRP, Litecoin, Ethereum Classic, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, that was it. You know, that, that, that's, that was it. Um, to make a long story long, I went to work again the next day. He's like, hey, did you look up those things I told you? I was like, yeah, I did. And he tells me that. <laughs> My cat is going ham right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he's like, hey, did you look up those things I told you to look up? I'm like, yeah, I did. Um, I'll, I'll get into it later, man. Like, I'll, I'll get into it later. He's like, okay. Well, I just want to let you know, man, I just made four grand last night. I'm like, <laughs> I just want to let you know. <laughs> yeah, my, my face uh. changed. I'm like, huh? He's like, yeah, uh, I guess this is around the time that Bitcoin hit about 19 or 20,000. Oh, yeah, but yeah. 19, you know, and this is when altcoins were just flying, you know. December, yeah. Basically, anything you threw at a dartboard, it was just gold. Mm -hmm. So he tells me that, the four grand thing, and I'm like, all right, yeah, download Coinbase. You know, you had to upload your ID and everything like that. And back then, I'm sure you know, oh, yeah. a lot of people that are watching, you weren't going to get in on the first day because there's too much traffic going into Coinbase, at least trying to get started or whatnot. Um, so it took me about a week and a half, man, to actually get rocking and rolling. And um, the first coin I ever bought was Litecoin. I know that's, you know... Don't shoot me, but the first coin I ever bought was Litecoin. It was about $300. I didn't even have $300, but I had $300. <laughs> Silly me, right? The coin, <laughs> it dropped, it goes, it's at $300. I bought it like at $305, you know? And it drops to like $200. And I'm like, oh, dang, man. You freaking got me for $100. All right, let me let me pull out. I'm hey, this is not for me. <laughs> it, it worked for him, didn't work for me. Whatever, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Life goes oh, on. That that reminded me of me, dude. I the first thing I bought was Litecoin, you know? Yeah. Someone so, gave me some Bitcoin, but the first thing I bought on Coinbase was Litecoin at $68. Oh man. Right man. before it went to the, you know, the one something and then it before it went to like 300 yeah 300 so uh say a day after that happened where it basically went this was like literally within 48 hour span i bought it at 305 it dropped to about 200 i'm like man i'm out of i it worked for him see this is why i don't do these type of things i didn't call my friend I'm like oh this guy scammed me out of maybe he knew the guy who created this coin and they're over here laughing at me Cause I didn't know who Charlie Lee or anybody else was, right? But then it goes to four hundred, basically. But I think around three ninety or something like that. That's what I saw on Coinbase, maybe three eighty, yeah. And I'm like, dude, if I would have just held for another day or so, I would have had just say hundred extra dollars on top of whatever I bought Litecoin for, which was three. But I didn't. And for, a, I know you know the story, but for over a year and a half, maybe, Litecoin and the rest of the altcoins dropped. 
Bitcoin went from 19,000 all the way down to about 3,200. Like Bitcoin, Litecoin went from about just say 400 all the way down to about $23. But within those months and weeks and days, I basically slid it backwards. Um, yeah, I would look <laughs> look at these these coins and say, "Whoa, I remember Litecoin at three hundred dollars when I first got in. Now it's fifty bucks, yeah. or now it's thirty dollars. Wait, wait, now it's twenty nine dollars. Let me put a little something in these things, you know." And that's basically how I got started. So, but well. So I just started kind of buying, you know, somewhat, not aggressively, still cautiously, you know. And um, long story short, about a week later, like a year later, after my friend tells me this, I basically ended up losing my job at this place where I was there for about five years. So I look at that time and say, wow, the only reason why I was here at this job was was to get this information and that was it now you could call it god or you know what is it divine what is it divine intervention i don't, I don't know i don't know really but yeah divine I, intervention meaning meaning something higher than yourself intervened and usually that's the origin of that is you know god you know right but, i mean now people use it as a doorknob for your front door you know right 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 so De that's um, divine yeah. open the door yeah. <laughs> knock knock yeah so um i i took it as that once you know once all the dust clears and settles you know when you're at a place where you're just working and working and doing overtime and just basically trying to stay afloat right it starts sinking in doesn't it it starts to sink in like whoa that was the reason that was the reason why I was there because it could have happened in any other year that I was there, but it didn't, you know, and whatever. But that's basically how I got started in the crypto space. Yeah. And um, not too long after that, I basically started my channel, Gladden TV. It was basically going to be a workout channel. But I, like I said, I didn't want to do anything that a lot of other people were doing because. So, so the workout channel didn't work out? It didn't. It did not, but with Gladden TV, yeah, this channel I feel like it can't be boxed in because, like, I didn't start off talking about cooking. I didn't start off talking about haircuts. I didn't start off talking about <laughs> strictly cryptocurrency. I literally started off just talking <laughs> freely and doing whatever I wanted, basically showing my audience my lifestyle and my journey on to where we're at today. You know. So I've been through a bear market. I guess you can say I've been in a bull run, the last big bull run that we had. And whatever degree of that we're in right now, currently in 2021, I'm a part of that as well. So so when you were in buying, uh, let me ask you this. So when you were buying, you know, Litecoin, where like so like when you were you uh, like was it easier to get given digibyte or did you really have to do a little bit more research how to get digibyte so i mean do you did did you get digibyte is my question i didn't because at the time it wasn't available on um what do you call it uh binance back then it wasn't available almost anywhere actually but a couple, at least from my knowledge, mind you, I was a, I'm not saying I'm an expert now, but I was a novice back then. So, um, yeah, it was basically hard to get, you know, and you do a little bit more research and you find about your cool coins and your bit tricks and, uh, what is that one exchange? Abra? Yeah. Abra's and so on. Does, you know? uh. Does your Abra work for your phone? It doesn't. It doesn't work for mine. They they wouldn't accept me. They're like, we're sorry, we couldn't we couldn't accept you. 
kind of regulations. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's kind of weird, man. So yeah. I remember, uh, I remember seeing Digibyte for fractions of a penny. I'm sure a lot of people have are used to as well. And I remember seeing you could buy about fifty dollars with get you. Think at least over a hundred k of them or something something wild to that degree and you know i'm sure there's people walking around right now with millions of bags and that's good man so it's like for those for the people who persevered and just basically found a way to get them their digibyte kudos to them you know and yeah that's it really so yeah, a little bit more research as well. Like, you know, I was on a coin X or a coin exchange. They flopped. Uh, and then I, I got my first Digibyte there and then I got Digibyte from Poloniex. So I had like coin exchange and Poloniex. And so I was doing a lot of, I had Coinbase Pro, coin exchange and Poloniex. And I was doing a lot of, because a lot of the exchanges had other coins, so, but, you know, uh, so now I had two exchanges at the time while I was mining Digibyte uh, oh, to buy Digibyte. So not only was I mining Litecoin and Digibyte, but now I can finally buy Digibyte. And so I had to go through a growth process as well. Like when I got into it, it shocked me. You know, like I had to figure it out. What was this cryptocurrency thing? And is it even worth my time? And just going down through what each crypto is, I, I fastly learned, quickly learned, fastly, quickly, fastly. I quickly, fastly learned that I, uh, COs were not the way. Now, at the time, because they had a lot of rules and regulations that weren't, uh, you know, there, but uh, there was a lot of people when I was seeing it, when I was looking into ICOs, people were getting burned, man. Like, I'm, <laughs> yeah. like, dude, I'm not joking. And one of one of the one of the uh, bags I was hold uh, I was holding was XRP at the time. And this, but the thing was, is like my XRP got taken from me from this like Arbor Wallet thing, yeah. and. Uh, so it was, there was a lot of scams. I, I, I'm not saying that at the time XRP was that, but it happened when I actually had XRP and I just knew that there's uh, people that were scammers. You know I mean? I'm talking about like programmers, wallet creators, uh, you know, how, how scammers get you, the ICO craze where you don't know which ICO was a good ICO, you know, right, right, <laughs> you know? Right, right. but you know, I mean like, so we, we had that phase, you know, and so I just stuck, uh, stuck with the, the, the fundamentals, the, the, the technology, the, the trust I had it, I had a breakout kind of like what you're doing. You, you're, you're experiencing, uh, your crypto journey. And you're sharing it on YouTube. Um, that that takes guts, okay? And I just want to let you know that it takes guts, so don't ever stop. Um, because you'll look back and say, Hey man, I had guts. <laughs> yeah. And um, and that's kind of how I started too. It's like, well, how am I gonna break out? Uh because I like the the Litecoin community. I, I realized there's a community, and then I and then obviously the Digibyte community was super fast everywhere. And um, just everybody was, I mean, they knew their stuff, man. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Christian that reads the Bible. I'm a Christian that hangs out with other Christians that knew their stuff. And so that's kind of like one of the things is like, I'm not just in it to make money. Um, I used to look at just stacking all my Litecoin and just make that money, you know? Yeah. But it was like an investment. Okay. And, and investment terms in crypto is laughable because it's so volatile. It goes up and down. You're probably better off trading it and not even caring about the people, but, but that's not how I am. I'm more like about the people. And, um, 
And so I de- started developing relationships. I realized that there's there is only one little group of Litecoin people that I actually uh, got along with, and uh, so I kind of stuck with them. You know, I mean, right. not the whole community was acceptive of me, right? I mean, I didn't. I'm I was a noob basically. I mean, who would want a noob following around, right? Right, right. <laughs> Right. But I also, I also had that little bit of feeling with Diddy Byte community, and uh, but uh, it quickly faded away once, once they were like teaching you, you know, hey, this is what's going on today. Like just as fact is like, right. Another Diddy Byte update, right? Another, another. Though this is how the Merkle tree works from Jared Tate, right? There and, and then and then just you know how you know tipping you know with did you buy it was a thing Matt Blaz that way here's some things in fact he's watching you right now oh man it was a lot of facts right in my face right away I love facts so I started soaking it up but I still had that wandering you know brain like oh blockchain so awesome I could do anything you know it's like well it wasn't quite like that. <laughs> So I had to learn. I'm still learning today. And um, but the the people if the people were more like, all right, accept the facts. We're we're cool, just accept the facts. So that's that's kind of like I'm a I love facts, man. Just give me the facts, tell it to me like it is, tell me straight, and uh, we'll be fine. And that's how I kind of like, you know, decided, you know, it wasn't because I had a biggest bag in the bear market with Digibyte. It, you know, because in fact, I had more Litecoin and and uh, Bat at the time. So, um, you know, it was the fact that the Digibyte community really had their stuff together. I'll tell you that right now. And uh, you, we might have some loose ends, but you know, and th- that's why I'm here, right? right. I want I want to I want to be that 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 guy that's able to talk to anybody. And everybody that has experienced Digibyte has uh, wanted to know Digibyte, get get them in the right groups, you know, just help people out. And mainly mine's more like uh, just love the people, just love, just love on them, but don't lie to them. And right. that's, that's what I'm all about, man. I mean, I, I want to know the facts. That way I don't lie to people. I don't want to say... I'm this great person. I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And yet it's, you know, yeah, yeah, we're trusted. Yeah, that's cool. And just get everybody together and not having a foundation. That's dangerous. Like, I'm not saying, you know, a foundation. We're with this cryptocurrency and we're a foundation. I'm talking about people, clicks, communities that aren't in that high foundation for the cryptocurrency. I'm talking about people that could you know, lead you on right? or build you up. And I'd much rather be with people that build you up with the facts and truth than to be secretive and tell you, yeah, it's good, you know? So, yeah. and another thing is, is people get caught up in, in with bad actors. You know, I, I got caught up with bad actors. I, I was a bad actor for a long time. So I know the deal. And and once you learn these things, man, you just, you know, just want to stay out of the pitfalls. You want to stay out of the hype. And uh, you I think you're doing great, man. And you're showing yourself that you're a real dude. And that's what kind of I want everybody that's watching this to go over there, subscribe to Gladden TV and watch his videos. You'll see what I'm saying. He he's just straight up with you. I mean, life's getting hard. Right. And and you're like, hey, man. You know, the, I remember you're, you're shopping and you're like, I got some uh, uh, strawberry, frozen strawberries and stuff like that. I was like, what is this? He's pulling out one at a time. And then I, I, it dawned on me, dude. Like, this could be, I mean, you made a little money off crypto, man. And maybe this was your treat. Dude, <laughs> like, I remember those days, man. Like, the, you know, I mean, you worked so hard. You've taken risks. And now you're believing in it because you're believing in yourself. You're like, hey, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to tell myself to do it. Not because everybody else is doing it, because not everybody is doing this. 
not everybody is believing that the the dollar um you know is is king you know what i mean not everybody believes that but too many people trust the dollar i'm gonna tell you man all my dollar it's crazy it, it was uh and i'm making it seem like i've made it right which i'm I, I haven't, but I remember when I haven't I was, made it either, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was just kind of buying these uh, tokens and coins, almost to the point where I felt like, I'm not saying I was going crazy, but it was just kind of like it wasn't the thing, you know. Um, it just wasn't the thing, you know. Life was moving at a at a million miles an hour, you know, people were still going to the gyms. This is pre-COVID, obviously. People were going to the gyms, people were in school, people were going out on dates, people were drinking at the bars and so on and so forth, you know, putting money, money phones to their ear, things of that nature. Um, I would always sit back and wonder, like, man, what is what is what is this cryptocurrency community talking about? How a lot of things are going to be digitized and so on and so forth in the dollar. What is this? And then soon as basically 2020 came, things were normal. But of course, on March, that's when word started getting out about COVID-19. And what made me basically, what made me basically come to grips about what the heck was going on was when the children basically got taken out of school. When they basically told all the children, and I don't know around the whole country, but at least in, over here in Los Angeles, a lot of kids were basically taken out of school and forced to basically go home and do the whole, you know, online thing. I said, oh, snaps, it's going down. And it just kind of clicked. This is what they've been talking about, you know, the whole crypto community, um, inflation uh, and things of that nature, you know. And then we started seeing uh, cashless payments more and more. There was a lot of um, touch was it touchless payments. Yeah. Um, a lot of these places like and this is not I'm not sponsoring them or anything, but a lot of these places like Chipotle and uh Pollo Loco and so on. They weren't using none of this stuff. They wasn't using Apple Pay and all this other nonsense. And um yeah, man, it just kind of like clicked for me. And um here we are today, just kind of like waiting and seeing what the heck is gonna happen. It's kind of weird to me how we're just kind of a lot of people are waiting on fourteen hundred dollars stimulus checks, you know. I don't even want to get into that. That's yeah, but we all need something, you know, and I could tell you money is not the answer. It's something a little bit higher than that, you know, but um, who am I? I'm just, you know. Hey, man, you found you someone told you about where the real money's being made. Right. That's exactly what happened to me. And I'm like, well, the real money, the real money is in crypto. It's hard money. It's real stuff, and it's versatile, and you it's it's got use cases beyond measure. Right. I mean, just look at Digibyte. I mean, how much do you know about Digibyte? I know enough to know that uh, Jared Tate is, I'm not going to say he's my hero, but he's, I like his personality, you know? He's like a, and I don't know if I could curse on this, but he's just kind of like a, He'll tell you what it is. He doesn't tell you what you want. He doesn't tell you what you want to hear. He tells you what you have to hear, you know? Well, that's and a good way to put it, man. That right there just kind of like sold me to this guy. And I've been watching all his uh, old interviews and videos, just kind of really deep diving into it, you know? It's weird because in the crypto space, I don't know about everybody else, but for me, I like doing that. I like deep diving and looking at interviews that that only has three or four views. It's, you know, even from just anybody, it doesn't matter. As long as they're talking about something that makes sense and it's not like conspiracy theory to a certain degree, you know, um, I'm all ears and 
Hey, when you're like taking jabs at big dogs and big wigs and yeah. then like calling them out on their uh, nefarious behavior that are linked to other accounts. Yeah, the guy knows his stuff. He's not blowing wind. You know what I mean? Like he's right. not. No one really knows who that guy is. I mean, like I, I, I'm glad he's with us. I might. I mean, I mean, shoot, man. He reminds me of, uh, you know, this book, uh, you know, uh, Old Soldiers Never Die. Old and soldiers. the reason why I say that is because, you know, people have been been there and done that. Mm -hmm. And then they choose to continue to be there, but to help others do that. Right. So, so that's, a, that's like a, a master, a teacher. And people, you're going to have, you're going to have the haters, you're going to have the trolls, right? In fact, I'm going to, I'm going to make a little clip, you know, when a troll comes in the chat and just yeah. play the, the clip, troll, <laughs> like a big nose with a wart, <laughs> yeah. you know, I don't know, but hey man, um, but Jared, man, yeah, he's, he's one of those guys that it was straight up to the point, don't bore us, get to the course kind of thing. Right. No witchy washy stuff. That's this. Those are the kind of people I connect with. Those remind me of teachers that I didn't listen to when I was young. And now right. I'm ready to learn. Now right. I'm soaking it up. It's now is the time. It's not tomorrow. It's not maybe I'll get to it. If you're going to get into crypto, if you're going to try to do something with it, you got to know your stuff. You got to get to the sources. Right. And gather as much as you can, right. absorb as much as you can, right? Yeah. In fact, I, what was the comment up here? Um, I love this uh, comment because I had it up here. Um, if I can find it again, where is it? Where is it? Is it gone? <laughs> Did someone remove that? Oh, there it is. John K said it. <clears throat> so this this. Look, he said, put God first to do the footwork, then everything else will take care of itself. And that's just so true. And, and you know, in my line of uh, thinking, because I'm a Christian, right? right. Uh, commit thy works unto thy Lord or commit thy thoughts unto the Lord and my works or I'm um, hold up. Commit my thoughts unto the Lord and thy work shall be established. So it, sometimes... I'm sorry. Commit. <laughs> wow, I'm a bad Christian. Not remember this verse. <laughs> commit, thy, commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Now listen. So it's like do the work unto the Lord, right? Yeah. And my thoughts shall be established. Sometimes we spend around too too long trying to figure out what your thoughts are and why you're having thoughts instead of just working hard at getting better thoughts. And that's basically what I'm saying. Like. You know, when you mentioned Jared Tate, <clears throat> hey man, he's already he's already he's already put in the work. Now it's going to take work to listen to that guy because he's got some good thoughts to give to you. So, you know, proven things. So yeah, I like I like I like where you're going with that. Um, and he is a little he is different because he's straightforward, man. He don't play around. Yeah, there's a lot of stiffs in this uh, space, you know, everybody's kind of like politically correct. He's like the opposite of that. In my personal opinion, you know, he just, you know, either take it or you don't. That's kind of like, that's his attitude. And I think a lot of people, you know, could see a little bit of them inside of him, you know? Yeah. And you know, the thing is, is, Hey, without other people, we wouldn't be in the place where we're at. I mean, it took other people to tell me, hey, Sean, you need to get your life right. Hey, Sean, you need Jesus. Hey, Sean, you need to get saved. You know what your answer is? You need to straighten up. You need to start, just stay out of trouble. You know, I've had these warnings and these cries out to me that I chose not to listen to because I knew what I was doing, right? Uh, uh, I, oh, you don't like me? You don't, you know, I always had this like, you know, oh yeah? You know, like, oh, you, you think so? Kind of attitude. I'm, it was more harsher than that, trust me. But, like, 
Like, but I wanted to try to find my own way. And let me tell you, when you go your own way, man, there's people that go their own way and you know, they're, they're hard, man. They're, they're really hard and stiff necked and they truly think that they're doing good when they're only damaging lives and hurting families. Right. And, and nothing in their life has prospered to any point or had any building in others at all. But they still have this mentality thinking, I don't need anybody else except me because no one thought of me, no one cared of me. But in all actual reality, people were, you know, saying kind words the whole time. Right. And uh, they just chose not to receive them. One yeah. guy just came out of, you know, it, it wasn't of God, it was about money. But one guy said, hey, man, the real money's in Bitcoin. Hey, man, it's in Litecoin. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like one of those kind of like, uh, it was just like a mind drop, uh, a mic drop right in your lap. You're like, all right, now sing about it. You know, what are you going to do? Yeah. I, one time I, in real life, man, I was on drugs. Okay. Surprising. Right. But it was about, you know, seven months in just freaking dead tired of everything, but I knew everybody and it was a party every night. It was a lot of headache. Right. I remember laying there and I was, I was Asking all night for a lighter. <laughs> okay. I I was with some messed up people. But anyway, so all night, no one had a lighter to share with me, right? Mm -hmm. At the end of the night, all of a sudden, these two guys come in. And I knew them from my past. And, and, I, and I didn't say nothing. They were just doing their thing, all excited. And then they're like, uh, this other guy pops up into the room and goes, hey, Sean, you want a lighter? He throws a whole bag of lighters from the store. It must have cost like over $100. And all the lighters just went all over me. And I just thought it was kind of hilarious. And I knew right then and there, I was with the wrong people. Right, right. Now, Because it was just off the wall stupidity. Like, I got a lighter because I was asking for it. And eventually someone wanted to be a smart ass about it and throw me a bunch of lighters without even tricking me thinking I didn't, you know, right. he doesn't know or something trying to freak me out. But check this out, man. It was right then and there. I knew I was in the wrong family. It was like, it's time to get out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. I asked for lighters or a light and someone gave me a bunch of lighters. Here's the thing. Same thing in life. If you're trying your hard or your darnest to, you know, make it in life. You're trying to do all the right things. You know not to go there because that's trouble. You know how far to push it without actually getting in trouble. But it, you need, there's a coming in time in your life that you, it's time to be a man. Right. I mean, right? I mean, you know, you know, you heard the, you heard the things in the back of your head. Like if you do that, you might not come out. Right. <laughs> it, obviously, it's not going to make you a better man, right? So just like find your people, man, find the people you can trust and you can't trust everybody, but find the people you can trust enough in your life that you shouldn't have to worry about it and then help them, right? You don't want to just help people that will use you and abuse you and spit, chew you up and spit you out, right? That's a waste of your time. And I'm sorry to say that for these people that are willing to take advantage of people like us and chew us up and spit us out. That's all they're going to do. Don't waste your time. That you know, there's a ton of other people that really need our help and those are the people you need to be looking for. Right. Because you you're 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 blessed in a way that, you know, they don't have it. So, you know, it was a blessing like in one aspect financially financially in your life, you know, it was a blessing someone told you about crypto. Right. Yeah. Um, like you said, financially and just kind of like just something to do, you know, it's like something to look forward to. Um, I'm not like I've never. I'm just I've never contemplated suicide or anything like that. I feel like I've always been normal, whatever normal is. Right. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been very level headed since since I can remember, you know, it's just kind of like crypto, despite 
all the speculative things that we think this coin or that coin or is going to do. It's like, man, it's like, it's something I actually do. You know, for me, cryptos is like, or cryptocurrency buying is like a job to a certain degree. You know, you got to have a certain, you got to be a certain type of person to pull that trigger every week or whenever you get that feeling or that, Hey, this is the time to buy, you know, I feel like every transaction, every purchase you make, it's like one step closer to you being in the position you've always wanted to be. Like for a lot of people, whether, whether that's just financially or just maybe you believe in generational wealth and you want to give that to your kids or just teach them about all these technologies that come with these coins and tokens. It's like, it's, it's just, for me, it's, it's, it's more than just money, you know? Obviously, we, we all kind of want that to a certain degree, but it's, it's exciting to be a part of something, you know, this revolution, if you will. And um, I don't know, it's, it's just, I look back at that guy that basically put me on, gave me that information, and it's just like, wow, he didn't have to do that because we live in a world where information is hidden, you know? And that's why, I mean, me, I always treat people the way, let me not say that, but I always treat people the way I like to be treated, you know? But that's not to say people will do the same. So I thank that guy, man, because... I look at it now and I'm like, from the from the year 2017 all the way up until 2021, where we're at right now, nobody's talking about anything. It's like, you see it everywhere you go. I don't know if you stay in a big city or not, but sometimes you just got to look around and observe and see what the what's going on, you know? And it's like, what are we doing, you know? This person's catching the bus this person's waiting on their lift this person's going to work this person's waiting on a stimulus check this person's complaining about just whatever you know it's just like it doesn't matter that none of that matters you know none of it matters at the end of the day i don't know if you have these same thoughts but it's just kind of crazy to me but i think crypto matters i think uh blockchain technology matters you know and i think we're we're going in this new world that we're going to be in i think that matters you know because i don't know if it's this is really a reset or not but something sure feels different you know it feels like things are going to change for the better you know well let me say this like Just put put it, maybe put it in this kind of light, right? Mm -hmm. Just think of all the people that have been, and I think you'll you'll be able to relate, right? Just think right. about all the people that would never be able to have a chance like this before in their in their life. Like they're learning about all the wrong things in school. It's not about how to financially provide for yourself and 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 make a living it's all about really dumb stuff right not entirely i mean there are skills that people can learn in school don't get me wrong yeah <clears throat> but i mean we're all taught about how to count money and then it's the end of it mm. you know mainly it's about in school like re a revolution or th this is how these are all the people that brought us to this point right right what's the point of all that it's, it's like that ain't gonna help me benjamin franklin ain't gonna help me he was a mason in, in, anyway but he did recognize that there was a higher power a god and right. he had reverence to it and right. he signed the declaration of independence to it so you Which, know what happened a mason took it and read the declaration of independence and said there's not enough god in here mm. Put more God in it and we'll be good with the Declaration of Independence. You want to know what, you know, America wants to do to the Declaration of Independence? Well, what do they want to do? 
they want to get rid of it. It's what? it's part of the it's it's part of it's part of the uh, if it doesn't jive with today, get rid of it, right? Right. You right. know, and 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 to to a certain extent, I understand where they're coming from. But what about all the people that made it on their own? Are you, are they trying to help others, or are they just do they just hate everybody? Is the problem? Right. I understand history, and I understand some of the things, some of these things, some of these things we've been lied to in school in America. And when you get older, you are like, huh, that's interesting. Now I know the real facts, right? Right. But like. Like there's a lot of things that we get taught in school. It doesn't amount to much, and it and it screws pre- people's brains up. Like, and then they find out the truth in some areas that they were told, and and they just become crazy people. I mean, they don't learn. They don't turn around, turn it around, and say, "What can I do to make it better?" Or how you know, a lot of people get in the politic game. They they say it's a waste of time, which I would absolutely agree. But at the same time, I'm a Christian. Right. And I, I, you know what I know is Christians aren't stepping up doing what they need to do to change the world. But the thing is, is we are so far gone. I'm, I, I ain't kidding you. I'm going to tell you right now and any, everybody can debate me in this if you want. I'm listening. God's in the, God's in the, uh, business of changing lives. He's not in the business of trying to save this world. He's in the business of reaching one person at a time. That's it. Everything else is going to hell in a handbasket, and many people are going to get wasted by their choices and their lusts and their vanity. It's bad. It's bad. And this was a warning. Right. But the thing is, is you got a little bit of a, a, a blessing thrown your way. And that's exactly how it was for me when God pulled me up out of the the dirt, the filth, the pig pen and said, no, I want to clean you up and and I'm going to show you that I'm real. I'm going to show you that I love you, son. Right. You know, and that's how it is. That's the true riches of uh, uh, being a son is that you're going to be looked after. You're going to be cared for. And that's some of the things, those are some of the real truths that real Christians used to teach. Today, it's all about sowing the seed of cash in the money pot at church so they can have big mansions. Right. Right. Phony Christian spiritual books so you can buy it so they can have big, uh, you know, swimming pools. Right. Deceiving yep. the people. If you're going to give to God, okay. if you're going to give to God today, give from your whole heart, right? Give from your whole heart. Yeah, I don't have any issue with that. But the problem is the message is the same every Sunday. Right. You ain't going to get nothing from that. All I, all I hear is, uh, "Hey, man, sounds like they're doing a shakedown again, Mom. We got to go." You know what I mean? Like the world is, it is, dude, it's a flywheel off the car. I mean, it's out in left field, man. And uh, I guess what I'm saying is there's a lot of people that don't have anything and, and, and are struggling just like us. You know, it it took me a while, bro, to get my life right, to really buckle down and say, all right, I got to do this where I'm, I'm just tired of this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and there's a lot of people that just don't have nothing at all. And some of the things, I'm not saying you don't have anything at all, but some of the, the emotions that you show in your videos, some of the things that you strive for, I can see through your eyes. Yeah. You know, they say, they say the eyes are the window to the soul. I can see your pain, bro. And it's real. And this is a journey that you're sharing. I've watched every one of those videos, man, after I stumbled upon it. I stayed up until 3 o'clock in the morning watching every one of them. Yeah. Dude, great stuff, man. Great stuff. Even even for someone like me that has been established for a little bit, I, I know the Bible. I go to church. You know, I'm, 
God's taking care of me. Uh, you know, I'm financially straight. You know, like I still need to hear stuff like that, man. Yeah. It's not about riches and fame and glory. It's right. about it's about who did you who did you help today? <laughs> right, right, right. What did you do? What I, I gave to you? What did you do with it? Did yeah. you squander it, or did you do what I told you to do with it? Right. Exactly, man. So there's a lot. There's a lot of people struggling, and let me tell you, man. Your I, all I'm saying is your stories are going to help those people, but. There's a lot of people that don't know anything about your story, bro. They won't. How many people do you think are on YouTube? You know, how how many, you know, chances is your video going to be viewed between, you know, million. You know, a million people yeah. oh, that hour when you load it up and it can never be seen again. How many people do you think it goes through their feed and people actually click on and say, oh, I'm going to watch this guy. Like, yeah. I, this is how I feel. Like, the way the YouTube algorithm is, yeah, it's dirty, man. Like, you got to have a flashy thumbnail. You got to have, you know, yeah. good looks and 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 the hundred bills flying around. The girls, you know, a cool song. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah everything. <laughs> like, there's people that need help out there, man, and all they're 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 bombarded with stupidity yeah and i don't see you as that i'm glad you talk real in your videos man and don't ever stop not talking don't ever listen to anybody that tells you to stop doing that if you if you know it's right i'm not talking about feeling it's right if you know it's right right it's right to it's it's right to do what you're doing yeah i've been listening to a lot of uh george carline as of lately the comedian yeah the old stuff oh Dude. my god what he said he said when you're born in the world you're given a ticket to the freak show but when you're born in america you're given a front row seat <laughs> oh my god that's just you know but that guy something else man yeah he was real man comedy but it's the truth yeah he and had some twisted ideas but there's there's <laughs> There's Bill Hicks. Have you listened to Bill Hicks? I haven't. I'm, I'm a sure. Okay, hey, listen to Bill Hicks. Listen to, look it up on YouTube. It's called The Ride. The Ride. The Ride by Bill Hicks. Dude, that will blow you away. All right? And I'm, you know, and yeah, like all type of comedians. It doesn't matter what creed or shade they are or whatnot. Like, what's funny is funny, you know? And what's real is real. And what's, and what's not is not, you know? At least from my perspective, but yeah, George Carlin. <laughs> George Car dude, I yeah, that's funny you mentioned that because I, you know, like he's not the most likable guy, you know, but but it it I just talked, uh, I mentioned his name to uh, my wife. I was like, you know what's cool about George uh, uh, George Carlin? His name is George Carlin. Yeah. I said he was just more raw in the truth of what's going on today. Right. Right. And that's that's how comedians should be. Really sticking it to the audience, making it funny. Right. Telling them the truth. Because they know everybody looks inside and says, that's me. You know? Right, right, right. The man in the mirror, right? Right. But, um, yeah, man, it's... Uh... Bill Hicks, The Ride. You got to watch it. Bill Hicks, The Ride. <laughs> Check that. I'm gonna definitely check it out. Whether if it's a week from now, a day from now, I'm do it right away. <laughs> do it right away. You and you and your girl watch this stupid thing, and yeah. and I'm telling you, it's gonna it's gonna do something. I yeah. got it. Hey, you, there's a in your uh, there should be a thing called comments. Yeah. If you click on it, you can see people's comments. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I see it. Okay. No, I'm definitely gonna um yeah, Bill Hicks. Yeah, I just been binging on George Carlin for like the last two Dude, weeks. If you like George Carlin, just, just I'm Bill like, Hicks has got a certain kind of vibe, I'm, but dude, that that one that one 
is a masterpiece from him. I don't care about anything else he's done. That the ride. Right. It sounds just like it is. The ride. You need to watch it. Right. Okay. Okay. I got you. But um, yeah, man, I'm just it's pretty it's my girl. She's right here. Hey, hey, wh- what's your name, girl? <laughs> Her name's Yams. <laughs> Yams! Yeah. How you doing, Yams? Good, good. Here's All right. A- Here's an interesting story that I didn't really mention earlier. Before Gladden TV, we're going to just basically start our own little uh, couples type of uh, YouTube channel. My name was going to be Hoddle, and her name was going to be FOMO or vice versa. All in. I was just trying to come up with ideas. Hoddle and FOMO. Hoddle and FOMO. But FOMO and Hoddle. There yeah. it is. FOMO and Hoddle. Somebody's going to take that way. <laughs> now, but... um. Yeah, and ever since, man, we like I said, we just try to like live our lives and be cool with people, and you know, we just make little videos. Sometimes we don't, sometimes we do, and whether if nobody watches them or not, we can always go back and watch them ourselves and say, "Wow, I remember when we did that." A lot of these things that we've done on our YouTube channel, Gladden TV, um are things that I'm doing for the very first time, you know? So that's what makes it a little bit more special, at least to me. And um, like I said before, it's been one heck of a ride, you know? One heck of a ride. And um, the ride, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm curious to know where it's all going to lead, you know? Curious, very curious to know. Well, the thing about permissionless systems, there's a lot of... There's a lot of central uh, authority involved already, but I mean, hey, no one's going to tell me I can't use Digibyte, right? Right, right, right. right. I mean, even if they do, I'm just, pff, what are you talking about? Just go, go I don't even know what he's talking about. Just straight up ignore him, right? Did, Digibyte is like, it's like the elephant in the room, you know? If, if, I, if I didn't find Litecoin, I probably would be in Digibyte, you know? If I didn't find, yeah, it's it's like, I don't know, it's weird. It's like, it's like one of the most hated on. Like, why? What did what did, what did they ever do? You know, it's it's weird, man. All the protocols that it does and Digi Shield and all, I don't, you know me, I don't know all the technicals, but no, I like it. I know that it does a lot of things that these big. Uh, mainstream coins do but even better in the fact that it's at the prices that it's at right now it's like oh basically continue to buy you know to a certain degree yeah you know the logo i like the logo but you know the logo looks really just plain jane yeah e blue blockchain did you buy a blockchain yeah um it looks like a business person would have that on their computer. In fact, I have a screen like a, a, a like the back screen on my computer here. Mm-hmm. It's big. Okay, I got a back screen here. But like when I come in the room, it has a Digibyte logo on it. It says Digibyte the Digibyte blockchain. It just looks like even the core wallet looks plain Jane. You know, like yeah. you know Digibyte blockchain wallet core wallet. You know, like but. I still believe in what was or what it was doing, what it was building, right? It it wasn't really flashy like Ethereum, like this floating NFT. I don't know if people under or <laughs> like like it was a, a picture. I mean, it's had different, you know, lines in the picture, how it divided up. It look it's just a, like a geometric shape, right? I mean, um but would- the thing is is like Ethereum, like I, you know, a lot of people put a lot of businesses, a lot of people put their money and they banged on Ethereum. Yeah. You know, and, and did you buy as a grassroots movement? This is how we move. We move by meeting each other, right? right. We move by helping each other understand what it, it's for. It's kind of like early stage Bitcoin when people had to explain, you know, peer to peer systems from one community on a communications channel from one person to another without any middlemen. Right. That's all it is. 
But with, with Digibyte, it's a more scaled uh, uh, Bitcoin on ster steroids times five. So it's like a glorified Bitcoin, all that in a bag of chips, let's say. Right. And they're continually building. <clears throat> I don't think people realize what's going on, but what, I mean, the, the, the grassroots movement is word of mouth. Okay. Right. It's also time. Yeah. Effort. You know, time and effort and just to be able to put, it's all, you know, free time. Blood, sweat, and tears and something that they believe in. From people that have great skills, right? Trying to hold a community together, man, and trying to keep that image, that logo untarnished, Digibyte. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep it pristine, trying to, you know, throw some, you know, some beeswax on it, make it nice and shiny, you know. Yeah. Um, grassroots move. You're you're dealing with you're dealing with middle aged men, women, you know, teenagers. You know, I mean, just kids. Uh, uh, you know, grandma, grandpa, people that have skills, and we're called Digibyte, the Digibyte community. Now, <laughs> yeah. But you gotta you gotta realize that everybody's a different walk of life. Not everybody's gonna have the same mind, the same thinking. Right. You know, the same what heart that they believe. You know, there's 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 believers, Gnostics, and I I'm gonna be reincarnated. Right. You know, so like it's people who all walks of life, they believe in what Digibyte stands for and what Digibyte can do for you and me. Yeah. And this is a sacrifice that people want to do on their free time. And and trust me, they wouldn't do it if they didn't love it. Basically, yeah. So I have one more question for you. One more question. Okay. Do you have a Diddy Buy wallet? Yeah, I do. All right, pop it open. Oh man, it's actually on my. Uh, it's on, on my, your phone. Yeah, it's on my phone. Well, what about your your girl? Does she have one? Yeah, let me see. Let me see your phone. Load it up. Is it an actual Digibuy wallet? I think it's like from the Trust Wallet. Does that work? Sure. I want you to pop up your receive for Digibyte and then show it on the screen. I need to be able to see it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. One sec. Whoa. All right. Hold it still. Hold it still. All right. All right, I'm going to send it. I got now. You can lay it down, but now turn it to where you're going to see it. Like go back to the beginning. Yeah, there you go. All right, I'm going to send it. Okay, All right, my pen's got to go. All right, I'm going to push send. Okay, send confirmed. Yeah. Is that the trust wallet? Yeah. You're gonna have to get a new wallet, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Oh, yeah. There Check it is. Out. Probably my internet connection. Nah, no. Th thank this you. This is the man. blockchain. <laughs> thank you, man. Sometimes wallets, you know. Sometimes wallet. I don't know if the trust wallet's really good. Maybe it is. But some some wallets are way better than others. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm I'm aware of the. Uh, hardware wallets and the, the, the web wallets even the paper wallets you know i'm a, I, that's the thing about this space man it's like it's so complex to a certain degree you know and um i'm literally every day just kind of pushing myself to learn something new or just grab you know learn new information on it just every day you know uh i don't want to get all I don't know. I'm not saying it's like a religion or anything like that, but 
it's like, man, you know, I just, I just try to indulge in, in, in indulge myself into it every day, man. Just learning what I can and basically understanding it. Like it literally took me like a year to actually find out exactly what blockchain technology was. Very sad, right? No. And when I mean took me, like I already, I already had knew, I had a good idea actually of what it was, but I needed a, I needed to be simplified, you know. And I know what it is now. Obviously, you know, it's a trust system, you know. It's a trustless system where you don't have to have a middleman, you know, that you have to trust, right? right. Like a bank, right? right. And then right. break down the whole blockchain and how there are computers around the world that are connected to the network that are basically keeping it, basically making it sure that it runs sufficient. And those computers, the miners, all, and so on, right? And proof of work, depending on what uh, cryptocurrency you're talking about, right? Some don't have to have proof of work, some proof of stake, some like XRP, and yeah. But some are hybrids, proof of work and proof of stake, like Decred. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> and in, in and fact, then, you know, down the road, we might have to think about that for for the Digibyte blockchain itself. Um, but right now, we're trying to make it easier to mine it for everybody to get involved. So once the new um, uh, hard fork update on the on the uh, algorithm of uh, XM rig, are you going to be able? Are you going to mine with your CPU once you're available to do it? And I've been wanting to. Only thing is. Um... I'm just I'm kind of scared to do it, right? Why? Um, just right. There's like nothing scarier than being into cryptocurrency, right? But why is that? Well, you know, it's, I mean, it's your money involved and certain things of that nature. Um, I well, was mining scared. it is just been, your yeah, yeah. I've been scared with mining because um, and I don't know. Uh, sometimes I'm just away from home type of thing, you know, and. I don't want anything to like, you know, catch fire or anything like that. And I don't have like, basically I don't have like the, I don't really have the space just to keep it cut. So, so like it's a, your processor is going to be, do you, do you leave your computer on when you leave? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I can. Your processor is going to be running anyway. It might as be mining Digibyte. Might as well. Yeah. I mean, all it's doing is it, it's, it's your pro, it's your, it's your, uh, CPU in your computer. It's just, it just runs just like every other day, you know. But you get, just mine some Digibyte with it. Might as well, right? That's all. It, that's all it's gonna do. <laughs> Might as well have your computer make you money instead of cost you money. You know what? I get this idea that I'm gonna have like this big rig and fans blowing. And oh no, no, no! I'm talking about it's gonna it's be. Big. Yeah. It's just all, you. You get a computer. Your computer now, right? If you have a computer, yeah. whatever. The way it is. I mean, you don't have to go get a rig. You don't have to get a GPUs for it. It's CPU. Yeah. It's, the computer already has one. Right. Right. So every the what's so cool about it is everyone's going to use it. Oh yeah. So that just means the supply. Yeah. I'm gonna definitely look into it. I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna look back at this video and you know catch all the nuggets that I missed. Well, I tell you what, it's been an hour and twenty minutes. Well, man, I had fun on the Digibyte Con talk, guys. If you haven't seen Gladden TV, go over there and watch some of the just truthful. Emotional, down to earth, everyday situation that people are going through. Just watch his journey, man. And uh, yeah, when, uh, sometimes when I was watching those things, I was like, "What am I watching?" <laughs> but I was like, "Well, I know what I'm, I know what I'm watching. I'm you watching." Like, you, huh? you, you get the um, you know, previously on Gladden TV, you get yeah. That nobody's like that. doing that no i like that you know nobody's doing that and i'm sure somebody's gonna come along and basically 
Steal that concept. No, what you need to do is whatever little thing that you did in each and every one of those videos, you know which one's the good ones. Make them consistent in the next video, like previously on Gladden TV. And you show a little clip, and then here I am now, right? And then whatever worked for you then, yeah. be consistent. Yes. Okay, when I do the Digibyte Com Talk, I try to have this Digibyte Com Talk logo on here, except Josiah's video, because that was more like a chilling with jo Josiah, right, moment. Like, I never, it, it was a Digibyte Com Talk, but I didn't have this logo. It really upset me. Like, I broke the consistency of my platform. Mm -hmm. Just be consistent. Be consistent. Don't get lazy, basically. Just, well, I mean, if you already have the audio track previously on Gladden TV. Yeah, you know, yeah. Right? Just <laughs> use the same audio track. Are you doing this all on your phone or your computer? All on my phone. I started off with my iPhone 10. I, I did the same thing. My phone, dude. And then, look, I upgraded to, like, a GoPro, and then now I'm just kind of, like, switching in between the GoPro and the, the iPhone. And, you know. Okay, man. Just stay consistent. What What apps do you like to use? What do you mean, like apps? To edit. Oh, to well, edit. Creativity just, apps. Just Movie Maker, maybe a Logo Maker. You know, all the typical ones. But I just kind of keep it short and simple. You want me to want me to give you some clues and some hints and uh, tip, uh, tricks up the sleeve? Sure, why not? These are apps you you absolutely need. Okay. All right. Uh, one is called Splice. Splice. I use it. I used it to splice your thumbnail on okay. my phone. Okay. You can take an image of anything or your pictures, splice them together, make rap songs, m music videos. But once you start playing around with it, it's pretty cool. Um, it, it's almost like the, every other format, but it, it goes a little bit further in, uh, to where it's a little bit fun to create. Okay, splice is like numero uno. Okay, right. there's a lot of stuff. Um, the next one, if you want your images, uh, you know, a little bit more artsy style. Uh, um, this is one I always used when I started doing really cool stuff early on in my videos. It's called Story Z. Story Z. <clears throat> yeah. Those are two. Oh, and and obviously you can't go without uh, rec go, record go, R E G G O. That's that's you recording your screen, and you can talk while you record your screen. You can record your screen, record any video, download it to your phone, put it, throw it to splice, cut out the uh, the bad stuff, make your video, splice it up, change up the colors and all that, and then if it's a picture that you liked. You can go to uh, you. You send it over to Story Z and make it move. You can have like a waterfall coming behind you. It's kind of like green screening whatever image you're doing. Cool. Oh wow! Yeah, so pretty cool, man. Just play around with it. But you got some really good production already. So I was just wanted to throw that out there. I'm Thanks. I'm his camera girl. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I saw her uh, riding on a bike in one of your videos. Yeah, it was, I don't know what episode that was, but um, it was it was one of them, and and I was like, she's stalking him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And he and he's like, oh, that's just my girl. <laughs> crazy. Oh, guys, that's just my girl, man. Yeah, it's crazy. I was like, who's that? Wow, it's crazy. We're trying to get the camera, like what? Right, right. If you ever see him in videos with his two hands out, that's because he got me running the camera. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Jesus. Well, that's cool, man. All right, bro. Let's call it a night. Um, all right. Anybody that has questions? I mean, I didn't see any questions. Um, oh, here we go. Best pod ever. Subscribe. There you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> preach to the masses, guys. Uh, Blind Dave says, uh, going to your channel. I'll, 
I want to uh, get more people involved in Digibyte. Digibyte yeah. long best. Okay. All right. That's it, guys. Um, yeah. DGB is uh, Bitcoin on steroids. Let me, let me guys, before we get out. What's that? Yeah. Say your you, say your one your last final thought. Stick it to us. I'll just say if you didn't know who Satoshi Nakamoto is, you're looking at now. I'm playing. <laughs> No, I was gonna say no, wrong. Right, right. I know who he is. <laughs> no, um, Roger Ver. Roger Ver. Roger Ver, man. No, he I reminds see. me a lot of uh, Jared Tate as well. Or Jared. Roger Tate. Ver. They're, they're, ah. Okay, <laughs> listen. I think Roger Ver is a really sloppy version of Jared Tate. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just wanted to say, um. If you want to see these videos that we're talking about on my channel, just literally go to my playlist and there's about 74 videos from start to finish. You'll see me door dashing and Uber eating to make cash to eventually buy cryptos. You'll see me going to baseball games, partying, dancing, all these things that no other cryptocurrency enthusiast is doing at least from my knowledge so just, just hey hey just don't play chicken with the train and we're good bro right right right, right. <laughs> okay, okay. all right guys all right that's it i what i want you to do is wave to the camera all wave, right wave to your fans all right guys that's it <laughs>